Hello? Hello? Like scary movies. Like, like scary. Hey, hey there, spooky pretties, and welcome back to my Scream Collection series. I know it's been a minute since we've had a collection video. I took the holidays off, and then I was out of town for a week, and then I did reviews on the new Scream. But today, we're back with all things collectibles. I have some brand new items to showcase for you guys. They've actually been here for several weeks now, but since I wasn't recording videos, I haven't been able to share them with you all. So I'm glad to get them recorded so I can find the perfect spot for them on the shelves. And just so you guys can see what I've been up to lately. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday season. 2022 has been insanely busy for me already. I went to New York for the Drew Barrymore show. I went to New Orleans for my job. And then I had my friend Morgan visiting for a while as you guys saw in my movie review. And now, I'm home, just me and my husband, and I won't be traveling for the next month, so I'm going to be trying to record as much content as I can for you guys in the spare time that I have. I also plan to do a little video on my time at the Drew Barrymore show. I promise that is coming. I actually have a special package, and when that package arrives, that's when I will do my Drew Barrymore discussion. So stay tuned for that. But let's focus on today's items and dive into those. All right, so the first item I wanna show you guys, I've actually had this one since my birthday, which was early December. We have another Royal Bobbles Ghost Face Bobblehead. This one is exclusive to Walmart only, and it is the Blood Splatter Edition. My friend Jack, who edits my videos, picked this up for me where he lives and shipped it to me. And that's how I finally got one of these. My Walmarts never seem to get any. I know they were kind of sporadic. I have all the rest of the bobbleheads, the FYE exclusive, the Hot Topic exclusive, the regular one they sold, and now there's this one. So I'm adding this pretty boy to the collection with his blood splatter face. It's basically the same as the normal bobblehead, just with blood. So let's get a close up on all sides of the box. There you can see how it's got the blood splatter. I'm not gonna pull him out because I've already showcased the bobbleheads on here quite a few times. So you guys kind of get the gist of what he looks like. But yes, you can find this guy at Walmart. Maybe check on their website if you get lucky. And I also know people have been selling them on eBay. Welcome to the bobblehead family, baby. <laughs> All right, now the rest of the items today came from fellow collector Douglas Little. He had a friend attending a convention a few weeks back and that gentleman picked these items up for us and then Douglas shipped them to me. So yay. First off, let me show you something that Douglas threw into the package, which I thought was super cool. Speaking of Miss Drew Barrymore, look at this poster of Casey. One of the promo images at that photo shoot for the film. So cool, right? I'm gonna have to get a frame for this and definitely hang it either here or in my office. I love it. It's such a cool image. Thank you, Douglas. All right, so next up we have some Handmade by Robots. This one is a metallic pink. How pretty. It's the Handmade by Robots knit series. They are collectible vinyl figures. We have seen these guys featured on my channel before with the regular variant and the chrome silver variant. Now we've got a hot pink, shiny metallic almost. We've got the Ghostface logo here at the top, the Robots logo up here, along with what number it is in the series. And then here on the side, it talks about what robots are and how they're made. And here on the back, we've got little pink ghost face. Isn't he adorable? I can't even stand it. And it even encourages us to collect them all. It's like Pokemon. 
or Pringles. Once you pop, the fun don't stop. Either way, it's addicting. And then it's got the ghost face and robots logos here on the bottom. It talks about how this is a decoration, not a toy. I mean, why couldn't this be a toy? You could play with it. It doesn't look like it's very movable, but you can, you can play with it. Why not? Let it be a toy if you want to. I don't care. It says these were produced in Woodenville, Washington. So there's all that information right here. Ages 14 and up, but again, not sure why you'd have to be 14 to own this. Maybe because he's got a fake little knife in the corner. See it right there. But that ain't gonna do any harm. Who knows? But that's this little guy. And joining him is a green one. What? Shiny green metallic looking. And look at this. I just noticed something very interesting. In the bottom, we've got images of Ghostface, right? Well, this image of Ghostface is one of the images that was used to promote the Sideshow collectible figure. Cool, cool. But this image of Ghostface is from the Scream 4 promo eras. It's what we see on a lot of the Scream 4 packaging. And that's when this image started to appear in 2011. So they used a different image on the box. And interesting that they would use the sideshow image for a different product. But okay, maybe they didn't think people would notice. So that's something I noticed right off the bat that's different. And then on this one, we've got, again, the ghost face kind of more 2011 logo that we've seen since 2011 and on. But up here, it just says ghost face. There's no image of him on the top. And this is the Knit Series number 69, whereas this was number 81. And right here, also something different, this is an exclusive. This one is harder to find than the pink one. It's exclusive to the merchant group. So yeah, this was an exclusive, whereas the pink is a bit easier. I know this one has been located at GameStop, both in stores and online. I think it's also been listed a few other places. This also may be available online. I don't think GameStop, but who knows? But as I said, it was supposed to be an exclusive to the merchant group, but I have seen them pop up for sale. So just take a look around, see what you can find. Everything else looks to be about the same. Here's the back. There's no color in green here like there was with the pink. They kept it like a normal silver, white and black, but he has green up here, which is so, so pretty. And he too has a little knife in his hand. It's, all of them are the exact same, just the colors are different. So yes, very cool. And also to go with the robots, they made these cute four pack mini collectible vinyl figures. Look at these, they're so cute. There's four of them in here and they each are different. We've got a white, we've got a chrome silver, we've got a green and we've got a pink. Kind of like the bigger versions they have. But these are like little eggs, like little Easter eggs almost. Look at them. I'm sorry I can't take them out of the packaging but you can still kind of get a good vibe for them. Pretty much about the size, a little bigger than a large egg. They don't crack open or anything. But that's what they remind me of, those little Easter eggs. I love them, they're so cute. And yes, right here it says there's white, silver, green, and pink. Knit series number one. So I guess number one in the series, very cool. Again, they are handmade by robots. And they have the same information here on the side about what robots are. And then the ghost face information over here on this little part of the tag. And nothing on the bottom, no stickers I mean. However, on them they say Ghostface is a registered trademark of Fun World. And then it's inspected with care. And that's all they say. You can kind of see the writing right there at that angle. Very cool. Cute little packaging. All right, so let's take one last look before I put these away. It's kind of hard to tell between the white and the silver, but that one's white, that one's silver. There you go. And here's the pink and green one last time. 
These are very, very bright, way more vibrant than obviously the green here. Like this is a darker green, so they're not the same. But the pink is a bit closer. Pinks are closer together. Not an identical match, but closer than what the greens are. They're very cute. I love the packaging on this. I'm obsessed. And again, they are using the Sideshow collectible image of Ghostface. I guess they like what he looks like. And the last thing that came from my package with Douglas is this blown ups. What is this, you ask me? All I know is it's cool. No, I know a little bit more than that. But it's a blown ups is the company and it's got the ghost face icon of Halloween logo down here. This was limited edition to 600 pieces and it's a glow in the dark exclusive by Plastic Empire Collectibles. That's what the exclusive sticker says right there. Take a look. And that's the item. He's a blown up. And it's jabberwalkietoys.com is what it says here on the back for a website. It says recognizable for the haunting expression frozen on an elongated white mask. Ghostface is an unmistakably iconic part of everything horror. This six inch premium collectible art figure captures the silent menace of this masked villain and will certainly send shivers down your spine as you stare into the eyes of the ghost face when you add this to your horror collection. They're really selling that guys. So yeah, you've got a blue box all around, kind of cool. And it looks like he is able to move, his arms are able to move all the way around 360 degrees. It talks about that right here at the bottom and shows some examples. It also talks about how it looks like it wobbles. Looks like it can wobble back and forth, that's cool. I kinda wanna take it out and show you guys, but you know me, I like to keep these in the box. They've also got a bloody random knife over here on this side of the packaging. KK. And then it also talks about how there's a valve. Oh, oh, it's supposed to look like you can blow it up. Interesting, like, like if it was a blow up, like an inflatable, kind of like the coffin cooler. Interesting. Oh, I'm tempted to take this out. I'll play with you. But I don't think I'm going to. Yeah, I can see what they're talking about on the back, how it's got that um, val fake valve, mock valve, they're saying. And here's the back of the box if you wanted to see, has an image of the item and what I just read for you, both in English and French. Doesn't, I mean, that could be Spanish. I don't think so. I think that's French. Anyways, <laughs> um, then it also has the ghost face lives logo that we've been seeing on the new merchandise. Very cool. So yeah, Blown Ups, number 13. Ooh, lucky number 13. Check this out. Like I said, limited to 600 pieces, so this is gonna be harder to find. Check on eBay, I've already seen them pop up. All right, so thank you guys for tuning in to today's video. I'll be back next week. Hopefully I'll get the package I'm talking about soon so we can discuss that and also discuss Drew Barrymore. The easiest way to keep an eye out is to turn on that notification bell at the bottom so you never miss an upload. I also announce what's coming to my YouTube via my Instagram quite frequently. So if you're ever wondering where my latest video is at or what I'm up to or what's coming to the channel, make sure you're following me on Instagram as well at ScreamQueen89. And while you're waiting for these videos to drop, make sure you guys are keeping it weird and making it Maggie. I will catch you guys again soon. Bye.